Hey guys, Sly Starcraft here, and I've thrown together a little map for you all to help you understand just how much damage siege tanks do when they're in siege mode and with their splash damage. Um, most Zerg players and any player really knows that when they are sieged up, they have 13 range, 50, da 50 damage, and they do splash damage, but uh, not a lot of people know exactly how much splash damage the siege tanks do, and it's actually a very mechanical formula. Uh, and I'm going to show you exactly how much they do 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 in this video. There are first of all, let me just highlight vaguely the different ranges of siege tanks damage. So if you're attacking a unit, I've given the Roach 500 HP and zero armor for the sake of uh, showing you guys this. If you have a unit and you get attacked, it's going to do 50 damage. Now this 50 damage will actually splash to other units. So other units in about this area will also take full damage. They will take 50 damage. So let's see that now. If the units are as close to each other as they can be, attack, this roach took 50 damage. So anything right next to this roach will take full damage from this siege tank, which is just crazy. So we've got 100% damage in this little area. Siege tanks will do 50% damage to units a little bit further out, so about right here. So that's going to result, result in this roach taking 25 damage about uh, this far away. They aren't right next to each other, but they're pretty close. So he should end up at 425, and there he goes. So we've got 100% damage splash around this area, about 50% uh, damage around this area, a little bit longer. And then their final threshold is 25% damage. And that is on the very edge of the splash damage. So this guy should take about 12.5 damage. So he'll end up at either uh, 4, let's see, 12 or 413. Yeah, 412. So, so we've got 100% damage, splash damage, 50% splash damage, and about 25% uh, splash damage. So when you're running around with roaches like this, let's say you've got them rallied. Okay, they're all here. And now you're moving them out. And let's stop. If this roach gets attacked, all of these roaches are going to take either 100% damage or 50% damage from that siege tank. So let's simulate that right now. I'm running into a tank army, and then the middle one gets attacked. Let's see what they took. This guy took full damage. He only took actually 25%, full damage, full damage, 50%, 50%, full damage. So three roaches getting hit for 50, that's 150 damage. Actually, four roaches it was, so 200 damage, 225, 250, 262 damage from one tank blast against an army of roaches. This is why tanks are so darn good against any ground unit, really. I'm showing you the roaches and the zerglings because they are the most common units to fight tanks with. Um, ultras, eh. Yeah, you'll see ultras, but ultras tear them up, so... So let's do this individually now. Two roaches next to each other, 100% blast radius, each taking full damage. Two roaches a little bit further apart, 100% damage to the one at focus, and oops. And you'll see, okay, you need to stop that. The other roach took 50% damage, 25 each shot, and finally, a little bit further apart, will take 25% damage, or 12.5. And you can see that there. So there are three ranges of AoE. I hope this uh, helps shed a little light on the situation to you guys. The new patch is expected to reduce the tank damage to 35 plus 15 to armored, I believe. Yeah. So the lings will still be one-shotted. If you get an armor upgrade, they will not be one-shotted. And uh, I'm just going to be going over all the patch changes in a future uh, video once the patch comes out. And I'll be doing a similar video to this to let you know about uh, you know why the change is that significant. Well, let's say you've got a bunch of banelings. I've got 20, uh, 18 banelings here running around. Tank blast. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I went from, what, 18 to 12. So six zerglings dying in one shot. Zerglings work exactly the same as the roaches did with the splash damage. You can see anything around the zergling will take full damage. So most of these Zerglings, all these Zerglings should die here. Yep, every single Zergling they're dying. Now when you're a little bit further apart, this Zergling will take 25 damage, so he will remain at 10 life after this Zergling dies. There we go. And again, another radius will be, uh, what is it, 25% damage, which would be at about 12. So he should be at 22 or 23 life um, when this guy dies. 
Looks like I was a little bit too close. It did 50% damage right there. There we go, 22 life. So kind of cool. Um, try to spread out your units or else tanks are going to own you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just kind of thrown together last second because I've always been curious about tank damage. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.